Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss Pre Market Report for Monday, June eleventh, twenty eighteen. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Great to see you all this morning. Here's a look at the ES in the daily time frame. Uh, we continue to see a very nice push out of this uh, middle portion of the key range. We see that the moving averages are sloping higher, uh, stacked and sloped to the upside. Price continues to hold above the eight period, which is a very bullish moving average. And so everything continues to flow higher at this moment. We have not reached uh, key resistance yet. This is, this is resistance. Remember, we usually look to take out new highs or take out new lows when we're fading. And so this has not reached an edge just yet. So we still have more upside likely to uh, likely ahead in the near term. Um, but very, very uh, short term here, we could be looking at a little bit of a pullback. We could see a pullback even as deep as, uh, say, 2740, 2741. And that could still be a great buying opportunity for a continuation to that edge. So the, the giveaway this morning is going to be the previous session's high price. And right now, price pushed above that level, formed a small box, and failed, and is now back below that level. So there's a failed new high right now in development. If it takes out this midpoint here, um, that could be significant because that could lead to more downside into this, uh, this zone of support here, or potential support. So that's what we're going to be looking for, is to see how price is treated around the midpoint of the day, and also at that previous high. We're still in an uptrending market, so we could have a morning pullback followed by a continuation to the upside overall. Here's a look at the NQ. You'll notice the NQ is right inside the trigger zone right now. Right in, or right just came outside of the trigger zone rather. So here's that push up. It came down, tapped the trigger zone, and bounced. You can see the NQ also came away with a very nice rejection tail. And if you look right here, that midpoint, very, very important. That's right near the lows of the day. Basically, 71.44.63, that is the midpoint of the previous session. That's also the, the bottom of the pivot range today. So that's an area that bulls want to keep bid. And if they do, there could be a nice little bounce into 7,300 coming and perhaps even beyond. So this is a very good entrance point right here. If the mid fails, then we might drop a little bit lower. And again, any pullback into this zone still provides a buy. So right now, bulls are going to be looking to defend at all costs within this uptrending market, uh, failing back below basically this level right here, the previous month's high. That's the level that's going to open up a bigger retracement. So until we get below that level, we're still poised higher. All right, let's take a look at crude oil. Here's crude right now. We talked about uh, how bearish this, this drop has been. Bulls came and absorbed for two and a half, three days here and failed hard. And then right here, you can see that this is the previous month's low. You can see that level right there is 66.29 and 66 even. And price on the intraday uh, has been forming a basically a rounded type of bottom there. Uh, or a, a nice little box, however you want to define it, but it's been holding just below that zone and not able to make new lows just, just yet. Right now, if you look at the intraday time frame, you can see prices holding right precisely at the previous session's low right now after forming uh, a little bit of price action below it and a, a range below it. If price can reestablish acceptance back above the previous session's low, call it 65.15, we could be looking at a failed new low that could rip this thing much higher. Again, if price can push it back above 66.29 there and, and reestablish above 66s, this thing could explode into about 68.50, that midpoint 68, and then it could actually get about as high as 70. Uh, but right now, in the very short term, we're looking at a move at about 68.50 to 69 if this thing can get above 66.20. But keep in mind, this market has been very weak. So any rejection of that 66.29, should it give it a go, could be a huge, huge indication of a push into 62s. So this is kind of a do or die zone after going sideways for basically an entire week. This compression will fuel the next phase of expansion, so keep an eye on it. Right now, failed new low would give us an indication of an upside bias. All right, let's take a look at the YM. If you look at the YM right now, you can see this thing is trending up. Uh, the moving average is stacked and sloped. Uh, you can see right here we got a very nice compression and uh, pinching of those moving averages and this thing explodes higher. So any pullback right now could be a great buying opportunity for a continuation higher. 
24,886 is a key level, and that had been offered. The uh, same thing with the previous uh, FOMC key level there uh, at March 21st. Offered, 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 finally taking it bid. So any pullback into that zone will likely be bid for a move into that uh, 25,800. Remember, we talked about 25,785 being the next major upside target. So we likely are flowing higher uh, toward that target over the next few weeks. However, right now you're seeing a failure above two-day highs. And so 25,350, very important right now. Price holding above it, then failing a little bit. If there's a failure of that level, we could see a little bit of a pullback here. That could take us down a day or maybe a day and a half. And that could provide a great buying opportunity. Again, the midpoint of the previous session is going to be very important there. Failure to hold that level will open up a return back toward 25K. All right, taking a look right now, lastly, at Bitcoin. Bitcoin is having a huge day down. It's basically down 11.5% right now. You can see a major gap down. This is taking us basically to major lows. So if you look back here, since the futures came online, uh, remember we had that impulse key range that developed here. And then we broke it to the downside and reached our first target. At that point, we talked about a bounce back up. And then ever since, we've basically traded in this zone. Uh, you could tell it's been very, very weak. Here it had a shot to really get higher and return back to 12K. And it just failed off of the next FOMC key level, which was uh, basically May 2nd. It's been down ever since, holding very flat here. And now you can see a gap right down uh, to that lower edge. So we've been holding right here at this lower edge. And that's where we are right this moment. You can see 6765. Uh, that's the level. 6700 is a key level. And so we're right at that zone at the moment. And any failure to hold that zone could open up some massive downside. Uh, but there has been quite a bit of accumulation off this area. That's why you can see the major rejection the first time led to a huge bounce. The second time it was accumulated significantly in a very, very tight range. You can see the, uh, the tiny range here on the ADR indicator and then a major uh, continuation to the upside on a failed new low. So rejection and an expansion. That was significant. Again, if I zoom in, you can see so there was significant accumulation there. Right now, you're seeing the same type of behavior we saw before, uh, where price gets down there. It's accumulating and holding. Last time, a major rejection. So if you are a, a, a Bitcoin bull, this would be a spot to really, really watch and consider because value is back above. Value is 84.43. Right now, we're trading 6,700. That's a good chunk of change to the upside. And so if there's a good rejection here or maybe another accumulation phase develops, it could be a great bounce back to fill the gap and then go back up toward value. Failure to hold this level would be significant. And then you start talking about downside targets that could be much, much lower, uh, either in terms of the month or in terms of the key range. So it could be really, really bearish. So bulls have a big time, uh, big time opportunity to defend way below value at a major, major area of market structure and, and then return this thing to value, which is a, a great spot right between a major uh, price distributions. All right, so that is it for now. Let's see how this plays out heading into the new week of trading. Good luck and trade well.